Thank you for attending tonight's event. My name is Kevin Sutherland. I'm the uh, communications director. Yeah. Many of you know I'm the communications director in College Democrats, and uh, tonight I have the distinct honor of uh, introducing my congressman, uh, Jim Himes. As I review his record of service here at America, it is filled with positions and activities that require both deep commitment to undertake hard work without regard for the awards of recognition or even immediate personal gratification. The kid designed half of the websites for major organizations across campus from KPU to the College Democrats. I'm going to be voting for Kevin Sutherland to be the student government secretary because I want, a, I want a secretary that will ensure that anytime something is going on with the student government, I will get the message. I, I Kevin Sutherland, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, that I will diligently and faithfully, that I will diligently and faithfully execute the duties and responsibilities, execute the duties and responsibilities of the Office of Secretary of the Student Government, of the Office of Secretary of the Student Government. He was a man you could depend on to do the work when he agreed to take it on without worry about motives, dedication, skill. He was already changing the world for the better in so many ways. Um, among so many of his great qualities, he was kind and smart and passionate and everyone who knew him was better off for it. He made my life better in a lot of ways, but especially by helping me realize the importance and the power of being a good person. It was from the moment we met that we would be friends. He was, he was a caring guy. He was always there for me. And he was just someone who really wanted to be my friend. There are some people you have in your life that you know will always be there. And for so many years, that was Kevin for me. I knew he would be there for my birthday celebrations, for Sunday movie nights, and for the weekend trips that I knew that we'd take. I knew he'd be there on Tuesday lunch break for chats over Facebook Messenger. He was rarely the loudest person in the room, but we all loved him and he made sure that we knew he loved us. Kevin was always there for me. He was my sounding board and the tallest, most unlikely cheerleader I've ever had. That was the thing with Kevin. You didn't have to go through the process of becoming friends with him. You just met him and you were friends. That's what Kevin did. He brought people together. The political junkies, the sorority girls, the international kids, all came together in one close-knit group because Kevin pulled us in. And he always pulled us up. Whether it was onto the dance floor, the karaoke stage, or out of an emotional ditch, Kevin pulled us in and he pulled us up. I'm awestruck at how quickly we became very close friends. And I think that's what is most important to remember. There's not much you can say to give justice to how good a man Kevin was, and to move past all our differences and build a friendship like we had. You know, Kevin simply was my brother, and I can't express how much I'll miss him. Kevin made people better, not because he told us how to live our lives, rather because of the way he lived his. We wanted to be better people. We wanted to emulate Kevin's qualities. We wanted to be like Kevin. Many of us met Kevin at a crucial time in our life. A time when we were trying to figure out who we were as people and where we fit in in this world. Kevin was one of those rare individuals who helped guide us despite the fact that he was also trying to do the same thing. That's why Kevin made this world a better place. Because he did everything for others. We now have the choice to remember him as someone who meant so much to so many, whose ideals still shine bright, whose intelligence, diligence, creativity, and energy were driven by an intense desire to make this world a better place. But this was Kevin's life's work, to fight prejudice of any kind, to fight for equality, to fight poverty, to fight for justice, and to protect our environment, and simply to strive for a more perfect union. Kevin was in Washington because he believed the best of us, each one of us. 
He believed that we could come together. He believed that we could set aside our petty prejudices. He believed that we could bring our voices together in this chamber and make a better world. I think there's a chance that 20 years from now, Kevin might have served in this chamber. But Kevin's spirit of openness, of optimism, that spirit must live on in this chamber and in our hearts.